Saudi officials say they've broken up a number of Al-Qaeda terror cells with the arrests of nearly 150 suspects. Rima Maktabi joins us now live from CNN Dubai. Rima. Tenola, these uh, 149 members of Al-Qaeda, suspected members of Al-Qaeda, form 19 cells. The majority of them were Saudis, uh, 124 Saudi nationals and 25 from other nationalities. They were Arabs, Africans and South Asians. Also, the Saudi security forces confiscated around 600,000 U.S. dollars with these terrorist cells and they also arrested one woman investigated with her and then released her to her family in accordance with the rules and regulations here in the Gulf. They don't put women in prison. Fenella. And um, these uh, reports we're getting was that uh, this, these terror cells were, quote, active. How close were they to planning or carrying out rather an attack? Where as we know from the Ministry of, uh, of Interior in Saudi Arabia that 10 plans at least were imminent. The targets were assassinations against political, government, uh, security and journalist officials uh, in, the, uh, in the Saudi Arabia and among the targets uh, oil installations. As we know Saudi Arabia is uh, one of the world's biggest suppliers uh, of oil. Anyway the spokesman of the Ministry of Interior sums up the intentions of these terrorists. Their general motives are spreading an ideology of hate by calling others disbelievers, collecting money to finance the deviant Al-Qaeda group inside and outside the kingdom, easing travel for some individuals for training in destabilized places, and executing criminal plots to spread chaos and insecurity. The Saudi Ministry of Interior expects more arrests in the future as the investigations are still ongoing and has called all uh, dormant cells, terrorist cells, to surrender themselves.